Well, I'm not sure I have a lot of positive <laughs> news regarding the coronavirus. In the ideal world, the Bundesliga would be kicking off this weekend uh, with games behind closed doors. Um, that's why I have decided to wear Bayern. I think it's the first, maybe, in uh, a video that I'm wearing this Bayern jersey. <sighs> but last week and Thursday they were all waiting that the Chancellor Merkel is saying something about soccer. She didn't say a thing. Now, uh, the problem is that during the week we had three positive tests with Köln, two players and one physio. And I just read, uh, there's also at Gladbach, we have the same thing. So yeah, that's a problem. Then the whole question is, what do you do with those players? I mean, they isolate now those players. The government has, hasn't said hey, yeah or nay uh, regarding uh, is that sufficient? Uh, should the whole team, should the whole training group be isolated? This is where it all hinges on, I think, that we can get to. And I am a little bit pessimistic that even next weekend the Bundesliga will kick off. I think it will take us a little bit. And then the 30th of June deadline will probably not hold. I know we can extend and so on, but I think everyone wants to have the 30th of June. Uh, I just read that in England they are, they are nowhere, <laughs> I have the feeling, uh, because they want to play, they considering neutral venues, then, you know, the lower league teams especially, I think Brighton are saying no, no one is asking us, and I, I understand them, they play all the big teams at home, um, yeah, if this is a neutral venue, they don't have much of an advantage there, uh, I mean, to be fair. Playing behind closed doors usually means that there is home field advantage gone because there's no noise to influence the ref. So maybe it's anyway wishful thinking. But they are also thinking about, you know, neutral values, shorter games. I, I'm more and more thinking, um, and I know even that is wishful thinking, but you should think about the next season. Is there any way that how you would set up next season? Under the best case scenario that we have a vaccine and that the crisis is survived. Because again, from my understanding is, yes, we can do everything to avoid now many new infections and the hospital systems are not overtaxed. But it also means that not many people got the virus. Maybe it's a different story for England, uh, Italy and Spain, where we had uh, many cases, maybe even France. However, um, you're still susceptible to the second wave. Uh, the big question is, are those many fan clubs say they will not support uh, any of those shenanigans behind closed doors? Um, will there still be people showing up outside of the grounds? What do you do then? So yeah, and I think the Premier League uh, is still so dead set on finishing the season. I wish they would go the France route in, in a way. I mean, it is the easiest thing to declare a Liverpool champions. I know all the other spots are a little bit up for grabs, but I think even the top four or five are not that hard to assign. I think the Champions League spots are pretty much a given at least the way I saw it. Uh, in Spain, they really are pushing forward with testing and having everyone uh, there. I honestly, I think the only dissenting voice I heard was from Kike Setien, who said, you know, guys, it might not be the good thing. And the big problem is that soccer might lose its credibility in many ways because yes on the ones that we want to watch soccer but uh how how how, how does it look you not only need to have players there you need to have also doctors there maybe those doctors could be needed somewhere else for that the you know many things need to be taken care of um and you're not gonna win a pr battle in many ways especially if there are loud voices outside so i'm wary i'm wary uh in italy we have slightly positive news that people can start training again uh in certain ways so yeah i always said that italy and maybe germany, germany of the big leagues are the ones that i'm looking at where i see it most likely that uh we will have soon some games especially since italy seems to be kind of slowly through it um that's what i'm not seeing for instance in the uk you know the situation is we also were hoping that next weekend it kicks off but they said well if you have a positive case 
then we will um, isolate just that player. The government was that the entire team is isolated. And what, the, what does that mean? Yeah, then forget about the championship. Um, and so they're still negotiating. The health minister is saying we don't, they don't want to give any privileges to soccer because there are many other leagues that are complaining that everything is done for soccer and so so it's kind of an iffy situation um my personal view i say it again i actually think we should come to the conclusion that it's kind of lost a sign championships where it's reasonable to do so where there's either the gap so huge and you can you know what a concept take statistics and not raw statistic with every average points or whatever no go to advanced statistics there are people who are um projecting 538 is definitely a new, new understand. take that that's your final table right there as much as there there are flaws but i think i would go a route like that there are other ways that could do that uh don't get fancy involved don't don't want the clubs involved this is where the leagues need to actually step up uh and i can repeat it again in austria everyone played everybody you can call the season yes this would mean my favorite team is champion for the first time since 65. uh but honestly it would be even deserved in in a way yes it will have a sour taste and i understand fans who say we don't need that sour taste with it we would uh, rather win it over the whole thing but you know so be it we have to look re realistically and we have one big chance i think we we should think about next season have smaller leagues that we don't have as many games that's my last thought process and also think about finishing the season november is just before the world cup end of october that could work and then you might have an extended uh 22 you know you know have have one year long champ championship and then have an extended season afterwards that i think could work somehow but we have a long way to go anyway let me know what you think as i said i'm looking a little bit less optimistic at having games i know portugal denmark and um poland are set to uh, start at the end of may maybe germany will add that fall too give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.